This is the Trek Imonda SLR as ridden by Kenny Ellison of the Trek Segafredo team. We managed to get our hands on it a few weeks ago, so I'm going to take you through the spec of the bike, measure it, weigh it, and pick out all those small details which set a pro bike apart from any other. The Amonda SLR is Trek's lightweight climbing bike with a nod to aero and is constructed from Trek's 800 series OCLV carbon. It looks stunning in this Project One colorway, which is called First Light and was designed for the Tokyo Olympics, although a color this bold is maybe not to everyone's taste. Paired up to the bike are Bontrager Aeolus RSL 37 tubular disc wheels with their trademark huge logos. The wheels are wrapped in Pirelli P0 tubular tyres, the SL version, which features the latest Pirelli TPU inner tube, saving almost 100 grams of weight. Up front is a 160mm disc rotor, and at the rear is 140. This has been the standard which is adopted by the Pro Peloton. Trek are one of the few pro teams to use SRAM and Kenny's bike features the red ETAP access disc group set with wireless shifting. At the centre of the bike is the carbon chainset, fitted with a quark power meter and 52 39 tooth chainrings. These are machined from one piece of aluminium and the power meter is also incorporated with the chainrings rather than fitted to the crank arms. These are 170mm long and Kenny uses Shimano Dura-Ace pedals. Moving to the rear, we can see the derailleur, which acts as the main control unit for the wireless gear system and is the reason why it's a little bit larger than some of the other types. The derailleur cage is made from carbon fiber and the cassette ranges from a 10 all the way up to a 33 tooth. So by using the 10 tooth sprocket, it means the chain rings can be that little bit smaller to help reduce some weight. Being a pro bike, it needs to have a race number holder and it would appear Trek have made a special fixture at the top of the seat stays, which isn't on their usual production model of this frame. Now I really like that and it's a far smarter way of doing this than one that's held on with zip ties. One of the unique features of this frame set is the use of an external seat mast. This slides over the top of the frame where the seat tube extends up much further than a traditional design. Kenny uses an inline seat post with the Bontrager Verse Pro saddle with carbon rails and a large central cutout. At the front of the bike is a one-piece cockpit from Bontrager. This is carbon fibre and roots the brake hoses almost entirely internally. There is just one small exposed section of hose as it enters the frame set. The stem is 90mm long and the bars are 380mm wide. Displaying Kenny Ellison's stats is a Wahoo Rome head unit held in place with a K-Edge alloy out the front mount. Completing the bike is a set of carbon Bondrager bottle cages and Elite Super Light Fly Bottles. Right then, on to some of the stats and measurements of this bike. Kenny is 169cm tall, uses a saddle height of 67cm, the tip of the saddle to the centre of the handlebars is 48cm and the bar to saddle drop is 8cm. On the official GCN Scales of Truth, this bike comes in at 6.84kg, almost bang on the UCI weight limit. So there you have it, a disc brake bike almost spot on the UCI weight limit, so I hope you've really enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you think of the bike in the comments section down below. And for more pro bikes and racing content, consider subscribing to GCN Racing and hit the bell icon to turn on your notifications. See ya!